ايه चलो ट्रांसफॉर्मर शुरू करते हैं What is transformer? What is the purpose of transformer? Tell me, anyone? What is the purpose of transformer? Why do we need transformer? Let's start with number one, Aditi. Sir, to allow the electricity to travel over long distances. To lock the electricity. No, to allow electricity to travel long. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yes. Second number. And Samhita. Yeah, yeah. Uh, AC into DC, like. It's one of the AC to DC functions, right? Uh, it's not AC to DC, but okay, no problem. Whatever you say, no problem. Samhita, what about you? Don't know, sir. I don't want this answer. Anything about transformer? So Let it be right around. Like power voltage. Sorry, what? Doesn't. control voltage like it control voltage yes shirisha what about you i don't know uh, no don't know answer okay main function of transformer is to reduce the voltage while transferring power supply from one place to another otherwise we will require high voltage cable and that cost will be higher the sagging and we need to check that so main purpose of transformer to make be, be the bridge between to so uh, to power place means we will place one transformer here to supply the power or voltage from here to another one and same way it goes on same way goes on and near our house it will do step up transformer so that we can get enough voltage required
so this is the device for converting high voltage into low voltage and same reverse twice reverse so we want to supply power so either we should reduce voltage we cannot reduce current uh, means like see main purpose we are doing here resistance of wire we cannot change the material of the wire we cannot use very very high resistive material so that uh, it will be like that but we will use some like normal material which we are using like uh, here also everywhere at our house which is copper here so there is high material high resistive not we don't want that because we don't want to change our power also so let's write here also one more thing power or uh, without changing power without change in power so this is main our purpose of this one is we don't want to change power we just want to reduce the voltage so that we won't get like shock also so many things so many reasons are there we won't get shock also we don't want to use uh, heavy like uh, heavy heavy wires so that whenever we are transferring long distance it will be more cost less efficient less efficient more power loss heat loss copper loss so many losses so we don't want want that to be increased so that like uh, even in summers and winters there will be like wire instead of going straight it will sag summers like that and winter it will be not sag here it might it will it might become tight more so it, this might damage our holes so many after seeing so many factors they started making transformer we tried first in small like uh, experimental so there are two types of this step up step up convert low to high voltage name itself you remember step up step down so it is high to low okay no this thing we okay, okay we got this idea okay this this is step up we will get this we'll step down we'll get that okay how we are doing this by the way how how to step up and how to step down how to increase how to decrease without changing power anyone i have studied emi do you remember what is emi no sir anyone what is emi don't know sir okay 
is it every month installment ah car loan every month installment you don't know what is the mi electromagnetic induction in that we have studied something like uh, there is a coil placed and some galvanometer is there we will we will take one magnet in that if if this goes inside this will deflect on like if it is south and north this will deflect on right side if it is moved back moving back so this will deflection will be in opposite direction yes sir this shows that there is a current inside when whenever this magnet is moving or changing magnetic field there is a induced current in it so current is induced in it now in that let's take one more coil now if i switch this on current will start moving <coughs> it flows in this circuit now due to influence of this there will be some deflection in galvanometer of coil b so that is called mutual induction so induction of current due to other one that is mutual induction we are not changing anything in that no magnetic field nothing we are changing it is getting influenced by the previous magnetic field means first magnetic coil so transformer is based on mutual induction always okay always works on a c now there will be two sides one we saw as i saw, as we saw before and i raised that a and b coil so a coil we will call it as primary main coil b coil is your secondary coil so induction is happening in coil b due to a now that as current is passing through that first coil if you remember i'll draw it again as current passing in coil a and there are number of turns in it more number so that there will be some influence of electron passing through a to b and the cylinder shape below both it is insulator it is not a conductor it's not doing any work it is just an insulator so it's just holding it chalo next part we'll study guys are you able to understand what i'm saying or you're listening like a story right you're listening like a story na so it's basically mutual induction of the two yeah but then how is from how? lower to higher happen mutual induction we'll do, we'll do reverse work as in as in let's let's see that now that's what we have, we will see that
so we saw here main purpose uh, main function of transformer is or uh, this based on mutual induction always works on ac this thing done so we will have coils like this more number of turns and here less number of turns which is our load which is our ac supply okay so more number of turns and less number of this one so whenever we have we want to step up we will reverse this let's see formula wise diagram okay number wise we will see then you will understand because diagram wise like okay number of turns means this way when see and whenever i'm saying number of turns imagine this diagram okay what i would do i'll write ratios and all that tape tabular form so that it will be easy to remember instead of writing all this drama thing we'll write directly tape tabular form let me uh make a table in my mind first okay this thing will say step up and step down some ratios okay name of those ratios ns means secondary coil which was on right side np means primary which was on left side this ratio is called turn ratio which is denoted by so secondary by primary coil num number of turns that ratio is called turn ratio we have time now yeah okay good so for uh, current is we can use cs same and ip we can use number of turns and number of them emf es we will use ep we will use like that same snp means you can understand now so efficiency efficiency theta equals to output by input now number of turns by number of primary uh, secondary by primary equals to k equals to es by ep equals to ip by is Put put P out and P in. So P equals to output is on second recoil. So second recoil E S I S by primary coil E P I P. Let's make a tabular form. Step up, step down. Now, in this one, ES is greater than EP due to that. NS will be greater than NP. So, number of turns in secondary. current in secondary will be less than current in primary 
Now, if current is less, then Z also. Okay, ratio. So NS is greater. So obviously, it will be greater than one. Let's see this one, this side, opposite of this one, step down. So voltage should be less here. S and P. I S I P. Z S Z P. K should be less than Sir, could you explain the current flowing again from low to high? See, we got okay. We 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 got this current values here. See, uh, power is what P equals to V I. Now, I don't want to change power, and I'm decreasing this one. So obviously this should be increased. Now same way, I don't want to change power and V I want to increase. And obviously I should be decreased because I want constant P. So this is the reason E and I are opposite here. Okay? Because our main purpose of transformer is to be, make it a uh, constant power. We don't want to change our power. So if power wants to be constant and voltage want to increase, then obviously we don't have any other option. The only option left that is I. So this is the reason E and I are opposite. So, so we have to increase P for step down and decrease in primary, first primary and then secondary for step down. Samita? So, so basically, there's more uh, current supply in EP. It is not like that. It's according to the requirement. See yeah, this case. See this. See this case. Yeah, secondary voltage or E EMF is more. As compared to primary, okay, we are doing step up. So from primary, it has increased to this one, step up. So primary, we have increased to secondary. In secondary part, EMF is increased. So we are reducing here. Primary, in secondary, it is less. Current is less as compared to primary. So it is reduced. These both are opposite. Now, if we see step down part, in that totally opposite, EP EMF is greater, and here secondary volt current is greater. As we need to supply current to the secondary one. That's why it's greater, right? <laughs> yeah. We want to just balance our power. Main purpose is just to balance our power. Balance our power equation. P equals to EI. So if it is ESIS or EPIP. We wrote somewhere. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah. So if I draw it again so that you can remember. This is primary. This is secondary. Now, tell me this, if I, as I have drawn this, this one. So, this is step down or step up transformer? Check. Always start checking with your number of turns. 
So tell me. Is it step down or step up? Strisha? As I've drawn here, is it step up or step down? Step down. Okay. Let's see what other says. Shirsha? Yes, yes, sir. Is it step up or step down? Step down. Step down? Yes. Okay, Aditi. Yeah, is it up or down? Up. Step up? Yeah. Why you think so? I'm just guessing it, honestly. <laughs> okay, fine. And who left? Akshit. What do you think? Well, I think it's down, sir. Step down? Why do you think so? Plain guessing, sir. Achha. It's not here. Assume x equals to 1. <laughs> but okay, fine. See this. This numbers of turns are more, yeah. See this? Okay, yeah, you can color again. Number of turns are more as compared to this one. This is with my diagram. But assume that in primary there are more number of turns, okay? This is your assumption. So, observe this. More number of turns in primary than secondary. That means it is, it comes under which condition? Sir? Yeah. But in secondary, there are like two turns, right, on the either side. What happened? Am I not audible? No, sir. Hey. So in the secondary, there are like turns on either side, right? So you, so it can be step up, right? Because it has more number of turns. Yeah, more number of turns in primary side. So it is step down. No, like are, are we only counting like the between part where they are together or like the entire compared? Thing? More number of turns in primary as compared to secondary. But sir, on the other side of secondary, we have turns, right? Like those are turns, right? No, no, these are resistance, RL, load resistance. They look like turns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but so like, what if, uh, like, as I said, like, there are like two turns on like either side comparatively but uh, but the primary one has more turns on one side and the secondary has like two turns on either side like sets of turns so no this this is like, not turns this is RL no like what if there are it won't be like that so, what is the purpose of it see purpose of this one you are taking input from here and giving output to RL So there are like two, Can be. like there's, Sorry? there's only primary and secondary, there's like no third system over here. No, not like, no, we don't have third system or we have to keep another primary secondary. We can keep that. We can keep multiple core, multi-core transformer. But like the, in primary and secondary set, we can't have another third system, you know, like the ones connected we, to the, we can't have. We that. won't need, we can have maybe, but we don't need ourselves, like see. If we need that, see, suppose this turns I made, if I need more turns instead of making here, why can't I increase turn here itself? I can use 
I can increase n number of turns. Depends upon requirement. I can increase n number of turns. This is our AC supply. Same goes for here. If I want to increase this one, instead of getting one more here, then again, we need to keep our load. So it's possible, but we don't use it. Yeah. We want see less space we want to utilize and we want more output. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Any other doubt, anyone? Clear with step up and step down? Confusion clear? Samhita? Where are you? Drive away. Are you there or you also went somewhere? I am here, sir. Achha, achha, take care. Chala, question karte Do we have time? Yes, we have three minutes. Three minutes, we cannot finish. A load transformer. Are two hundred and thirty voltage. Apply to primary. And it gives 4.6 voltage in second way. So is it step out, step down? Tell me. Sir, 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 I think step down. Because it's when ratios like to that table. Yeah. Find IP, current in primary. So this is very easy. We can use our CIP, you want second it is primary equals to secondary. We are not, uh, we, are, we are assuming that there is no loss because nothing mentioned about loss. We will assume no loss. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. That's it. We can find IP. Everything is given.
then चलो ठीक है आई स्टॉप दिस शेयरिंग सर टेन टेन नो इट्स नॉट टेन इट्स पॉइंट वन यस सर सर पॉइंट वन यस फोर्टी सिक्स ट्वेंटी थ्री यस इट्स शुड बी पॉइंट वन करेक्ट आई गोट द सीन टेन ओके सुपर ठीक है बच्चा लोग मिलते हैं कल थैंक यू